And here we are. It's uh, it's uh, Lou Martin and Ingrid Turner. Hello, my enlightened friend. How are you doing? Hello, my beautiful friend. Thank I'm, you. How are you? Thank you? I'm very, I'm great, sweetheart. And I'm just thrilled to be here with you one, one more time. Thank you so much. Me too. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, sure, sure. So um, why don't you uh, riff uh, for a moment, as we say in showbiz, and uh, I'll um, uh, post these to our pages here while you give me a, a little space. Cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, space. Time to riff. Let's see what we got. Um, my Who name is Turner. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I am a minister and a psychic medium. I am the founder of the Bava Spiritual Mission, which is the church that I run that helps people connect with divine spirit with the infinite um, directly. So no middleman. We help people. Our community helps people step into spiritual leadership and deliver their spiritual message out into the world. And we are doing our level best to show up and do the good work of helping ourselves and all others move from fear to love during this incredible, incredible paradigm shift. What an exciting time to be alive. Um, everybody born now who is in this, who is experiencing this, you know, is here to be the bridge is what I feel. We're here to be the bridge to help people move from the old energy that is more about fear and constriction and restriction and scarcity into this new energy of love and expansion and community is a really big one. We just did a um, Bava August 2020 energies forecast and I posted it on the Bava spiritual mission page earlier today, uh, this morning, which talked about, you know, the intensity that we're feeling right now. It is super intense out there, but the reason for that is because we are sloughing off energies that are no longer a match for this new energy that we're in. So while we are all in it, we're all feeling it. The stuff, the dark is coming to the light, which is by design. Our job is very simple is to stay in the love is to stay in the light. So that's what I'm all about nowadays. Um, that's become my mission since, really since the spring solstice, when I, I felt, when I got it, oh my gosh, we just popped into something new and exciting and it was just radically enlightening and fun. Um, so that's what it's all about for us. And I think I can speak for Lou to say that's basically his message and his role as well. And we do that in all kinds of different ways. We do these videos with you uh, once a week. We're on Lou's page this week. Next week we'll be on my page, on the Ingrid H. Turner page. Usually we do Thursdays at 11 a.m. This week is Friday because life <laughs> and energy madness and mayhem. Um, and then, um, okay, yeah. Lou, I need you to be done. <laughs> yes. yes, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. Let's pretend I'm done. I'm done. That was gorgeous. That was gorgeous, honey. Thank you. Yes, um, we're rocking it and we're uh, we're dancing with the energies. But um, you you just had a trip. Uh, you and uh, uh, our brother Shay had a trip up to Mount Shasta. Do you want to say for people who don't know about Shasta what what that's about and what that was yeah. like? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Mount Shasta is this little this little town, big mountain in yeah. Northern California. Uh, it's about I'm in Northern California. It's still about four hours up. It's right kind of near the Oregon border. And uh, Shasta is Shasta's magic land. You know, it's on par with Glastonbury over in the UK and Sedona, yeah. and Nevada City near where I am. It's just an incredible hot zone. I think Shay said I, I Shay said it's the sacral chakra of the earth is what he told. Mm. Mm. Which is really interesting because as we were driving up to Shasta, I was saying, I said to him, I was like, we got to drive all the way up to the base of the mountain. I said, oh, my sacral is like feeling all, all the funny things. Uh -huh. He goes, oh yeah, sacral, Shasta is the sacral of the earth. I said, of course it is because <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, you know. So we um, we went yeah, yeah. to Shasta because it's just such a beautiful place <laughs> to see what we could feel into energetically and just visit and recalibrate. It was also Shay's birthday and he loved oh, yeah. Shasta, he's just loves going to Shasta. So we had a great time and um, we went and explored. We went all the way to the base of the mountain. We walked up a little bit and we're, we're needing to go back. I guess we realized, bless you, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Um, we're needing to go back in August because there's there's more. We're like, there's more. <laughs> yeah, yes. So what I found was, um, you know, as a channel, I was sort of, I was just staying open to, okay, let's see what shows up. Shay knows a lot about Shasta that I don't, you know, as a channel, I try, I don't really look for that much information, that much data with anything. I try and keep myself as clear as possible because I don't want too many talking heads inside my own head. I want to open up to spirit. So um, I don't know tons about sort of the spiritual facts about Shasta. Sure, Jeez. sure. So, well, I, I can tell you a little. 
yeah, it was really fun as I was channeling, he would go, yeah, <laughs> like, totally, that's it. You know, so it was really fun. Sure, so sure. I found him just being open to when I got there, I found I was communicating with the mountain herself. I started calling her sister Shasta. I was like, sister, sister, you know, intense energy. She's putting off these pulses, these pulses of energy that are really clearing out energetically what is not a match for that, her particular energetic sphere, because she's going to be inviting the people and, and situations that are an energetic match. I also got a visit in the shower from a, a native gentleman who talked about, right. uh, the earth, something's going on very deep in the earth. Um, and there's a yeah. really strong energetic shift. And the, the image I got with it was, you know, when horses are spooked, when a storm is coming or when an earthquake is coming, mm. animals know, animals know, spirit knows, spirits know. And there's sort of been an anticipation of this event. It feels like a natural event. I mean, it because it felt it deep in the earth could very well be an earthquake. It could be, you know, a volcanic eruption, something coming from deep in the earth. So that was pretty profound and that was unexpected. There I am, you know, just, <laughs> like, oh, hello. <laughs> um, yes, yes, beautiful. Yeah, so, and it feels yeah. like more to, um, more to explore up there. Uh, yes. So we're going back. Because sure, I, sure. I, well, can I give you my little Shasta stories? Yeah, you please do. Okay, all right. Well, um, I just recently reconnected with uh, one of my uh, exes, uh, a lovely uh, uh, lady named Erica Morningstar. And Erica and I were together in the mid nineties in Kansas City, Missouri. Oh. And um, we had some great adventures together and uh, one of the things we did was we went to Mount Shasta and uh, we, yeah, and we, uh, we met, we went to Mount Shasta because we met um, Amora Kuan Yin and Amora uh, was an amazing channel. She's, she's passed on now, uh, but she was a, a mountain of a woman I and mean, she yeah. was gi gigantic lady physically yeah. and spirit and spiritually. And she was channeling the Pleiadians and I was deeply connected to those energies and Erica as well. So we met her and she invited us to come visit her if we were ever there. And long story short, Spirit eventually led us to be there. And we stayed with her for a week in wow. Shasta. And while we were there, uh, this is our first experience there. Uh, I read the I Am Discourses by St. Germain, which were channeled in Mount Shasta. Oh. I, read the, I read the first one. There's about 20 volumes of uh, the I Am Discourses. And um, so that was pretty cosmic. And then um, uh, flash forward several years later, and uh, I, Joshua Stone is this uh, writer and channel who's also passed on, and he was doing his um, uh, conferences in Mount Shasta for um, for the spring equinox. You just mentioned the spring equinox, the um, uh, Buddha's birthday, uh, and. Um, uh, so I was up there. I got invited by him to this leadership conference in Shasta, which I thought, oh, well, this is very nice. Someone's recognizing my great spiritual wisdom or whatever. And so I got to I got to meet like 100 other lovely people from around the planet. And um, um, and one of them was uh, Rhiannon Augenthaler, who who also became uh, one of the loves of my life. And so um, that's how I got to Ireland was I met and fell in love with Rhiannon. And she eventually, when Joshua passed over, his partner uh, needed to go back to Austria. That was um, Gloria. I'm giving you the life story here, but Chas has been so, so yeah, hugely, so hugely, wow. yeah, hugely important. And then so Eric and I lived in Vienna uh, for, for a year before we came to Ireland. Um, but the, the, th the third thing for me about Shasta um, is that uh, another teacher friend of mine uh, in Los Angeles uh, is this um, uh, woman in her 80s, I believe. Uh, her name is Kai Christie King. And um, on my Facebook page recently, uh, somewhere popped up um, me about 30 years ago uh, with a white shirt on and the long hair uh, in this channeling circle that I was leading. And Kai is sitting at the back of the room, and there's a, a, a you know a spirit being floating in the air right in front of Kai. Yes, um, and Kai tells the story of her awakening at Mount Shasta, wow. where she. So there's a there's an underground city in Shasta called Telos. Yes. Right. All right. Yeah. So so Kai's experience was literally that she was taken into this underground city, and all these uh, experiences happened to her, uh, you know, out of body, etc. In, in yeah. that in that energy there, and uh, that was her that was her big initiation from spirit. 
Amazing. So yeah, so Shasta's come up over and over yeah. and over again. Yeah. yeah. And I was, I was mentioning before we got on, I just did a, an interview with another wonderful teacher who lives in Shasta named Helen Quayle, who I'm going to connect you guys with. So that's awesome. exciting as well. Yeah. yeah. We'll be going, but we're going to be going to Shasta a lot. I feel like it's only four hours from us and it's, you know, it's bang up it's there. A, it's a huge power spot for the whole huge. planet. It's yeah. definitely one of the most beautiful places I've ever been energetically. Yeah. Cool. Well, I hope one day to end up there with you, Lou. Well, thank you. That would be brilliant. I look forward to <laughs> that as well, Sudard. Yes. Yeah. Shall we shall we do our uh, uh, grounding prayer yeah. into the light? Yeah, let's Before, do it. Okay, okay, great. I'll start then. Thank you, dear. <sighs> Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Feel your energy pool in your root chakra. Maybe it'll feel warm or tingly, or you'll just be aware that it's happening. Take a deep breath in and pull the energy from your root into your heart. Exhale and hold the energy in your heart. Inhale and pull the energy from your heart into your crown. Exhale and hold the energy in your crown. Inhale and pull the energy out of your body. Feel it connect with divine source energy. And with the out breath, pull that energy back into your body and into your heart. Breathe in and hold the energy in your heart. Breathe out and pull the energy down to your root. Breathe in and hold the energy in your root. Breathe out and push the energy down your legs and into your feet. Breathe in and hold the energy in your feet. Breathe out and push the energy into the earth. Feel that energy hook in with the earth's core and take a deep breath in and pull it back up towards your feet. Exhale. Inhale and feel the energy hit the soles of your feet and move up your legs and pull again in the root chakra and exhale into your root chakra. Okay, Lou, my love, over to you. Thank you, Ingrid, beautiful. Let's take one more deep breath, everyone. So, higher self, Holy Spirit, Father, Mother, God, indwelling Holy Presence, we want to bless everyone in the circle here today and in this divine moment of now, and uh, to really acknowledge Mother Earth and the beauty and the magic of Mother Earth, all that she provides for us, a home, a shelter, the food on our plate, the water that sustains us and sustains all of life. And we want to bless the sacred and beautiful places uh, that Mother Earth has created for us to rejuvenate and renew and refresh ourselves. And to know that nature is our master teacher and that the Earth is our divine mother and that we're here to open our hearts to love and to peace and to happiness and joy and beauty and abundance and all the gifts of life. So we want to bless everyone who's a part of this journey here with us. And we want to give ourselves and give our beloveds back to the earth to begin again in this moment, to see more clearly and to live more deeply from the grace, the peace and the inspiration that life is truly meant to be. It's a gift to be alive. We celebrate this gift. It's a gift to live on Mother Earth. We celebrate Mother Earth. We give thanks for all the blessings in our life, for love and family and friends and work and happiness and joy, and for all that we are blessed to understand. For this and more than words can say, we're grateful and thankful. We let it be, so it is. And together we say, amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you.
Yeah. Gorgeous. Ha, Linda yes, Lou. Well, uh, Shasta too. Yes. At 11, 11. Okay, Mike. Linda Lou. Okay, Linda. We're all going. <laughs> there you go. We'll, we'll meet up in Shasta. It's a Shasta party. <laughs> Yes, Ingrid was saying we go we go to Sedona in the winter and Shasta in the summer. Yes. That's right. Because <laughs> I was I was saying uh, our friend Susie Baylor, who's another wonderful teacher who lives in Sedona, posted this uh, uh, that it was 108 degrees in Sedona today. So and then Shasta gets like 12, 20 feet of snow, some insane amount of snow in the winter. So they really are places of extremes. Yeah. Yep. Brilliant. <clears throat> yeah, baby. So, honey, I uh, found that wonderful um, prophecy, uh, your prophecy from the Russian chap with yeah. the, the white beard. Yeah. Yeah. So I post I posted that uh, in the last day or so, and of course, people have been looking at that and responding to that. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's like you said, you were saying earlier, it, it has been a very emotional week for mm -hmm. a lot of people, and there's been a lot of frustration and rage and uh, anger and uh, this these kinds of energies fire you know in the, in the light of summer in the heat of summer fire a lot of fire coming up for people mm -hmm. and so that um, that that bigger picture is is what we're all striving to to get in line with I think yeah I, you know something that um, we did our uh, I mentioned earlier we did our bava August um, energy forecast last night <clears throat> I posted the video on the page. It's really cool. It's the whole group. Like you see the whole process of how we go through and get the energies with the, with the group. It's really fun. But we, we were pulling through, you know, that, that intensity through the month of August is not going to lighten up particularly. Um, <laughs> it's yes. just, it's right, going to be right. hot. But, but the other thing that we got, because, you know, the, everything is working for us. Everything is by divine design. Nothing is working against us. Even, even this, even the madness and mayhem. And it will, it takes time. Yeah. To reveal itself sometimes a long time for the um the benefit to reveal itself but what we have is um you know the 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 solar plexus is being activated you know we're in uh leo which is ruled by the sun which is the ego which is the solar plexus so people are there's more of a need than ever for people to be seen and heard and for them to share up and show their truth whatever that looks like for them in the moment and we're going to be experiencing people we have been experiencing people being really aggressive about it you know, or sinking into depression about it, having these really intense emotional experiences around it. But what we were getting is this is about if we take it out of the drama, out of the story and into the energy, this is an incredible clearing of energy that people are experiencing. And every human being on the planet has to clear out stuck energy and old energy that is no longer a match for this new paradigm if they're gonna stay alive, if they're gonna keep going on this planet. We have such radical new energy. So there's a, that's the clearing, but so all of this intensity, this chaos, this division, the drama, the ah, the way people are vomiting it out, it's clearing out the energy and it's ultimately leading to, a, you know, everybody's gonna have an awakening in their own time. Spiritual awakening is inevitable for everyone on the planet right now because that's the energy we're in. So yeah. what we are encouraging yeah. people to do is do your best to remember that it's drama up here, the surface right. of the story, it's drama. Take it down to the energy. And then we can really stay in compassion and out of judgment for ourselves. We're all going to get caught in it because we're human and that's just part of the human sure. experience right that's now. Right, honey. That's right, honey. Do our best right. to stay in the energy and understand the clearing that is happening and what a benefit this clearing is because it's leading to more and more individuals having that awakening. And people who have not done their spiritual work, who have not been committed to their spiritual path, they're having a really hard time right now. Yes, yes, yeah, compassion. Right yes, yeah. yeah, beautifully said, sweetheart. Um, yeah, um, I know. I mean, we're uh, we're really blessed because we do have some idea of what's happening on the planet, yeah. why it's happening, and how to respond to it. Yeah. And um, you know, as you as you said so so brilliantly, uh, this is it, folks. You know, this is our initiation into living in a in a world of love, and we have to. Uh, you know, see all the ways that we're not loving to ourselves or each other or to life and, uh, you know, uh, forgive ourselves and forgive each other and ask to be forgiven and come back into uh, knowing our holy alignment, our righteous self, mm -hmm. our soul's purpose, you know, being humble and honest and willing to, to grow and heal. 
And as uh, you're saying, uh, if we can't don't or won't, that's the path of suffering, you know, and that's what we're seeing so yeah. uh, commonly in the world right now. Yes, yes, but it's temporary. The yeah. suffering won't last because we don't live in those energies anymore. I think that's so important for us to remember is even though we have all of this drama and chaos and it's ramping up, it's gonna get ramped up. My hit is in the fall, we're gonna be experiencing some real intensity. So this is the time right now in this relative lull <laughs> I know. Like, connect to divine source, find yeah. your strength and your connection there because the ramp up is coming in the fall. And um, to my train of thought went off the rail. <laughs> well, well, no, I, I, I just want to agree with what you're saying. You know, it, it's, uh, and this is why we pray and meditate and channel and listen to our inner guidance and take good care of ourselves physically, emotionally with boundaries, etc. Um, yes. You know, Ingrid uh, was suggesting to me a new project for us to work on uh, next month, which I'm excited about. I'll let you uh, share that when and how you want to do it, okay. uh, but yeah. I'm excited about it. And, um, you know, what I see, the theme is uh, the wounds between the masculine and the feminine are yeah. absolutely at a fever pitch. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, people feeling misunderstood, unappreciated, unseen, uh, disrespected, taken for granted, taken advantage of, et cetera. And, um, you know, I, I agree with your your timing of things. Uh, as we were just saying, both Mars and Chiron are, are really uh, on their back uh, heels for the next six months. So, uh, you know, our usual little masculine will, our little paper sword of <laughs> the illusion of control, you know, that we wave at the world. Wave your paper sword. Wave, yes, wave. Yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do much. Much good right now, boys and girls. So you know, it's it's uh, uh, be very humble and very real, and ask for whatever help we need from spirit, from each other, from Mother Earth, whatever guidance. You know, it, it, this is our time to really open up to, to the the wisdom and guidance of the Earth and of life. Yes. So quick quick note on that. A really cool, positive, impactful thing that is that is showing up for people right now is manifesting abilities are off the charts. The focus and intention you put when you put focus and intention, things are manifesting almost immediately. It's mind blowing. So trust that you know whatever you need, you can ask spirit for that, and it will manifest really quickly. Because again, that's the real energy that we're in. Up here is drama. Out here is drama. There's noise. Reach past it. Boom. New Earth. That's, that's what you remember we are yeah. in the new earth we are just mired in the drama right and it's going to go away the 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 spirit keeps hounding me and so i keep repeating it over and over again is it's not a question of if we're going to be bringing in this new earth it's a question of when we're going to let ourselves settle into it it is already <clears throat> And the way that we bring this in much more quickly is for each individual to move themselves from fear to love, to slip into compassion, to dive underneath the drama, to understand the energies and to stay in love, stay in love. It is the most important job any of us have right now, energetically. That doesn't mean that we don't take any action. And that's something that I'd like to address for real quick, if you don't mind. I mean, yeah. when, when I say, you know, stay in love, just stay in love. That's all you need to do is stay in love. That's true. That's the first energetic step. You stay in love, but you, and from there, we can be inspired into action. If there's something going on in the world that is, you know, wrong, that we don't agree with, that is not in line with love, you know, what we want, the way we want to approach that in terms of taking action, whether that's posting on social media or joining a, a you know, a, a, not a riot, the, the, the much less <laughs> demonstration, <laughs> yeah. probably not a riot, um, joining a protest or, you know, whatever it is you need to do before we get into action, we need to bring it back and get into alignment with love and peace, that love, love, really tap into that new energy and then go and get into inspired action from that place because that action comes from a place of love. Whereas if we're jumping out here trying to fix things um, from a place of fear and lack and ego and drama, then we're operating in an energy of fear. We're operating in the old paradigm and it's not gonna have the effect that we're looking for it to have. Step back into love, explode into inspired action when you feel called to do it. And if you don't feel called to jump into action right away, don't worry about it. Stay in love. Let it be easy. Move yourself from fear to love over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. 
Um, I love what you're saying about manifesting, and I love what you're saying about you know being very uh, present in the moment, you know, and and very uh, um, reflective. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of time this week to to just um, try to integrate the energies, you know. Yeah. And there are, there have been definitely times I've just I haven't been looking at anything, haven't been working on anything, just sat and and feel into the energy, you know, and and you know can really feel the planet spinning, feel the energies, you know, doing their thing. You mentioned like an earthquake, uh, you know, uh, per perceiving that. Um, Something. Yeah, you, you know, and this is, this is, this is the calm before the storm uh, yeah. right now at the moment. This is the, the pause between breaths. And yeah. um, it's, um, you know, it's, it's great that we have this. It really mm -hmm. is great that we have this. And, uh, you know, I also want to talk about gratitude and how uh, centering and power empowering and, and uh, helpful towards manifesting and living in balance and harmony, uh, you know, gratitude uh, can be. And, um, uh, you know, prayer uh, is such a, a simple thing. And, uh, you know, just like working energetically, these are simple things. It doesn't take much time or effort, but, yeah. uh, you know, when it's a part of our daily practice, excuse me, then it becomes easier to, uh, no, okay, well, we, we can we can pray on it, um, uh, you know, and or we can meditate on it or we can channel on it or we can send yeah. energy about it. Yeah. So these things are becoming more powerful. I, I definitely see that as well. Agreed. Yeah. Working with energy is becoming easier and easier. We're just getting, we're just naturally getting better at it. And everybody's more sensitive to it. Everybody on the planet is more sensitive and more open intuitively. And like, can we take a minute and think about what that must be like for people who've never even explored this, who never gave sure. this kind of spiritual life or this intuitive uh, energy the time of day? Suddenly they're like popping open and they're intuitive. What do you do with that? You know, <laughs> I like, think that's really intense. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's um it comes out of the blue in the way we least expect it, better yeah. than we've imagined possible, revealing our true nature, uh, is is my little uh, um affirmation from my guides about grace and manifesting and spirituality. Yeah. And um you know, it's I had a I, I it's a conversation with a buddy of mine from, from high school who lives uh up in California uh last night. Uh, talking about all these things, and, and and you know we've had these conversations off and on for years, but he was really more open to it last night than than I'd ever seen, and he said, "Listen, uh, that's helpful, and uh, I understand what you what you mean, and these kinds of things." So uh, again, I think people are really starting to open up to 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 be more uh, available to what what we've yeah. been learning about for a long time. Yes. Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Well, people, you know, we're now, you, when you know, you know, until you don't know, you don't know. You don't know. Oh, we lost our Lou. Great. Left me hanging in here by myself. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, Kevin, thank you for jumping on. Nice to see you too. Nice to see you. Linda and Teresa, so happy to be here. Um, you know, I was going to pull a card, but I don't have the new me. I always have the new me. I don't have the new me. So yeah, let's just talk about the energies a little bit more and kind of the energies of this new paradigm. Um, good news is we're coming back on to face me, so that's very good. <laughs> it is an amazing time to be alive. It is such an exciting time to be alive. And, you know, I just want to reiterate again, I, I keep saying this, but it's so important for us to remember, you know, your when, when we popped, hi, Lou, love. <laughs> when we popped hi. into hi. this new energies, I realized, oh, this is why I was born. This is why I was born. And I really believe that's true for all of us, that we were born in, the, in, in at a paradigm shift, at a total energy shift. It's not just for our world. It's radiating it out into the universe, which is the dimension that we, are, that we live in, that we exist in. And so the shift is happening in our entire dimension and we're alive for it. We're here. We are watching it happen. We experience the shift <laughs> firsthand. Ah, and so we yeah, have yeah, to be yeah. really challenging about being us, though, I feel, so that's sure. what I feel about, <laughs> is that we don't belong in either energy, really. We don't belong right. in the old paradigm. We never felt at home there. And we're in this new paradigm that we're really excited about, but we came from the old paradigm. So, <laughs> right. so we are right. 
Like I just see us as the bridge. And it's really, it's sure. about the children. It's about those who come after us, just walking along our backs to really, to bring this in. But it's still, I yeah. mean, such an amazing time to be alive. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love it. I love what you're saying, honey. I, um, I grew up, you know, in the, uh, born in 57. So I grew up in the 60s and the 70s. Yeah. And um, the whole culture uh, that I grew up in was steeped in science fiction, uh, yeah. you know. And uh, so, I, I mean, uh, I saw 2001 A Space Odyssey for my 12th birthday party, uh, yeah. you know. Uh, uh, that literally, I don't know if you've ever seen it, but it's one of the great films of all time. No kidding. And for real. And, um, it, it was, it was basically, it was the map of this, of this that we're talking about here. This, wow. this, this leap in, yeah, this leap in consciousness. Uh, one of the most famous scenes in the film at the beginning of the movie starts in ancient, uh, you know, in, in the prehistoric times with with the, the beginning of the apes turning into men, basically, and beginning to learn how to work with tools and, and uh, weapons and whatnot. So an ape throws a, a bone into the air and we follow the bone in the air and then it becomes a spaceship. Oh, wow. You know? Yeah, like that. So yeah. just thousands of years, you know, uh, in a, in a moment, uh, through, through the film. And then we're, we're living in the future, uh, you know, uh, from this time and, and seeing what life on other planets and mankind exploring the universe. And so it goes on, of course, uh, to reconnect with basically our experience of God, uh, you know, uh, they, through the Stargate, Stargate is, is what the, the end of the film is about. And it's this, you know, this one guy in a spaceship, just going through these dimensions and he eventually comes to the end of his life and he has an encounter with the great mystery, uh, basically. Uh, he turns back into the light and then he turns back into the divine child. And, yeah. and he turn, you see this, um, the fetus of this child and the earth side by side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, and that was, that was at the age of 12, I was like, okay, you know? Yeah. So, <laughs> so that, has always been in the back of my mind, Ingrid, that, you know, we are living in this really cosmic time, as you've said, yeah. and yeah. Um, anything we can do to help people, as you're, as you know, as you've just said, anything we can do to help people celebrate this and yes. go, look, guys, this is actually an amazing thing. It's a great yeah. gift to be here. You know, yeah. that's how I feel. That's how I feel too. I'm with you. That's what I try and remind people of all the time. What an amazing time to be alive. Oh my God. What? <laughs> it's like, I feel like we've been, we've been in preparation mode for this for you know many decades, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. And 60s kicked it off that, that counterculture, you know, it, it really kicked off like the, 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 the paving the way for this paradigm shift. Me, I had no idea it was going to happen in my lifetime though. It actually right. came as quite a surprise. I was like, oh, 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 we're here. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and it's just it's it's been an amazing journey it's going to continue to be an amazing journey and it's it's not going to be easy and that's okay but that's why you and i are here and that's why pe the people who are here listening to our broadcast people who are meant to show up and support the energy and support people and support the the moving us solidly into this new energy it's yes. an amazing purpose to be living out and I could not be more grateful for this sure. life. Sure, yeah. me too, sweetheart, me too. And uh, yeah, I just, I hadn't mentioned, um, I think we we had over 400 hits on our last uh, video. Go uh, us. Together. Yes, so 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 that that's wonderful to see as well. Do, do you want to uh, give people kind of an idea about your plans and our plans for next month? Are we sitting on uh, that or taking it over? Go follow the Bava Spiritual Mission page because right. we, uh, it's me and Lou and our community are going to start stepping up with some big content, big messages, big service. And we're looking at a launch of September for that. And I'm, I'm still putting all the pieces together. So I don't want to talk too much about it in the details because I have learned that if you start talking about this stuff too early, you can kind of take the wind out of your own sails. So, but if you go um, give the Bava Spiritual Mission page a follow, you're going to start seeing a lot of really cool stuff um, coming from that page, that community, including um, what Lou and I were just talking about. And we'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just say this. Um, Lou and I, Lou is going to be getting together with a couple of, a couple of other men. Um, or more, 
um, and we're calling it Divine Dudes. So, yeah, Divine Dudes. This is going to be very, <laughs> very it cool. Doesn't, it, doesn't get, it doesn't get any more California than that, my friend. Any more California than that. That's, that's where we're at, okay? And that's then, very um, cool. Very that's cool. just one little piece of the, the one little piece of this this net this this uh, net that we're putting together, throwing out for the world um, to be of divine service in this way to help people understand what the heck is going on energetically and practically, and help people find their way out of any fear that they're still experiencing and into love and cementing in this new paradigm. It's it's a very exciting project. So. Yes, yes, yeah. it is. It's thrilling. And can I say, honey, um, I'm I'm thrilled to be you know continuing to to grow and work with you and explore mm -hmm. and, and create with you. Thank you, thank you. And um, uh, you know the the phrase, uh, what is the gift in this? You know, <laughs> is is uh, just continues to be uh, so very very important and helpful uh, that nothing that we're experiencing or confronting in our lives. Uh, you know, either in the micro or the macro, you know, uh, climate change and uh, the virus and the lockdown and the economy and the politics and, and the demonstrations and all of that, you know, is a reflection of some part of what's happening inside of us that we haven't found uh, an, an easier way to, mm -hmm. uh, to make peace with. <clears throat> and I just want to come back to your beautiful earlier point, you know, no matter what happens, uh, we're either inviting or allowing these experiences into our life to help us to grow, to help us to wake up and remember that we're spiritual beings having a human experience. And as we say, we can ask for help. We can manifest more of what we need and want. We can live in gratitude. We can have discernment and detachment and compassion and, and mercy for other people's uh, challenges and for where other people are at. Um, yeah. So, you know, it's, it, it's, uh, it is just a huge blessing to, to know what we do know and be inviting people to, to listen to, trust, and follow our own loving inner guidance. This is all we have really to share is that as we do this, you know, we're, like you said, we have a foot in each world. As we do this, we're giving people uh, a demonstration of, of this, these are the changes we want to invite people to make in, in your lives, in our lives. Um, and the other thing is I was just watching a, a Zoom call from the people of the Lincoln Project, and it's just one of many, uh, you know, uh, social and spiritual and political things that are, you know, ramping up and amping up like, like we're doing here as well. And um, there really is, uh, th there's never been a greater need for conscious community. Uh -huh. uh, kind of thing. And, you know, we're so blessed, uh, you, you know, you and I with so many conscious people in our lives. Yes. And, uh, you know, we're, we all know each other for some divine reason with all this preparing to unfold in our world. So, yeah. you know, we really want to, uh, you know, uh, be aware of, of uh, the conscious people in our lives uh, as a great resource and, and to see what we can do to uh, inspire and support and empower each other, you know, and I, I say that, you know, uh, I'll speak for you now, for both of us, you know, we want to help people make the next step, whatever that might be, uh, cause this is, this is the only door that opened for either one of us, frankly, yeah. uh, living in this wonderful world, you know, yeah. but yes. we knocked on every other door that everyone else knocks on. Yeah. And this is, this is the door that opens. And if this, if this open door calls to your heart, thank you, sweetie, then come on in, folks. You know, join with us, uh, join with uh, Ingrid and the Bava group there, uh, and uh, myself and my pages, and let's do this thing because this really is the moment before the spaghetti hits the fan because it's coming. There's no doubt. Yes, that was another thing that came up really strongly, Lou. Uh, in our channeling for August is community, community, community. So important right now. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. I feel good. I feel complete. How do you feel? <laughs> Great. That's lovely. I'm complete when you're complete, my darling. It's always a pleasure. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. yes. Love you. I love you too, sweetheart. Where do people find you and talk about your books and anything else you want to share here? Okay. Uh, so the we talked about the Bava Spiritual Mission. That page is on Facebook and the website is bavamission.org. It's spelled B H. A-V-A, -A, and then mission, like I'm on a mission, bavamission.org or Bava Spiritual Mission on Facebook. 
that's the organization that we run. And then you can find me on Facebook. I'm Ingrid H. Turner on Facebook. I'm easy to find. Go give me a, go give those pages a like and a follow. There's lots of really cool stuff happening. Um, that is, it's in the, in the pipeline. My personal website is ingridhturner.com. And then I have a book of channeled messages published. It's on Amazon. It's called locked in love and you'll know it by the big red heart on the front. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and thank you, sweetheart. And for myself, uh, you can go to uh, lightheart2012, which is my Facebook page. Or you can look up Awakened Spirits Network, which is a Facebook page for teachers and teachings. And it's that's also the name of my YouTube channel uh, where I interview other teachers. I always upload our interviews here on there as well. Uh, and um, there's a lot of great ones there and it's building quite nicely. And uh, Ingrid and uh, our other friend Ian Morris both connected me with different uh, podcasters this week. So I have two new invitations and two new people to, to chat with that I'm looking forward to that, Jeremy and, uh, and Ruth. And uh, you can find me every morning, Monday through Thursday at 9 a.m. UK time on my homepage uh, for morning prayers, where we do an hour of uh, light work together to get people in the groovy. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, We Lou. did it, you're yeah. welcome, honey. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, thank you. Peace and blessings, okay? Love you. Love you. Wee! <laughs>